It is Wednesday, October 16th, 2024, and this is the latest news update for Medellin, Colombia and Colombia as a whole. I have 10 short, good stories for you. So stay to the end. Let's jump into the first one right away. In crime news, Medellin has contributed significantly to the drop in homicide rates across Antioquia in 2024. The city saw a historic decrease of 47 cases, bringing the total to 244, the lowest since the 1970s. This decline is driving a reduction in the entire department with 38 fewer homicides compared to 2023. Some neighboring municipalities like Caldas and Barbosa also experienced significant reductions, while others like Envigado and La Estrella saw increases. However, regions like Bajo Caco and the Northeast struggle with rising violence driven by territorial disputes among armed groups. The Antioquia government is implementing targeted security measures for each region. In captured news, a man is captured in Medellin for murdering a Spanish citizen. He had an Interpol red notice. The detainee who had an Interpol red notice is accused of homicide while he was a tourist. Units of the National Police captured D.A. Mejia in Medellin, who is accused of having murdered a Spanish citizen and injured another person. This subject had an Interpol red notice and according to the authorities, he would have committed a murder against a Spanish citizen while he was a tourist. The detainee is required by the court of instruction number 34 of the Madrid to answer for the crime of homicide. In another case, the Directorate of Criminal Investigation and Interpol Digen captured Blas de Jesus Rivera Contreras in Bogota, wanted by the Chilean justice system. In arrest news, authorities in Medellin have arrested three men accused of extorting an Argentine businessman who provided internet services. The suspects identified as Elkin Quintero Sanchez, alias Donato, Ruben Dario, Geraldo Viredo, alias Ramon, and Marlon Alexander Ortiz Rivera, alias Cabit, demanded 15 million pesos from the businessman in exchange for allowing him to operate in the city's communas without issues. The extortion, which began on September 10th, involved threats to a businessman's life. The suspects were arrested by the CTI with the army support and now face aggravated extortion charges. Alias Kabe was also charged for carrying a fake ID. More arrests in Medellin. This time it was three police officers. Three police officers from Medellin and Bejo have been convicted for corruption, including embezzlement and extortion. Patrolman A. Cantillo received a five-year and four-month sentence for attempting to steal 1,100,040 that he had been confiscated from suspects during a robbery on December 18th of 2017. He tried to hide the money in his vest, but was caught. Patrolman M. Pinatas Osoro and S. Acanio were sentenced to eight years for extortion after they demanded one million from a man to avoid prosecuting him for alleged criminal ties. They were caught accepting 400,000 on December 5th, 2020, after the victim reported them. Appeals have been filed by their defense attorneys. In Medellin Music, Rimas Publishing, founded by Bad Bunny's manager Noah Asad, is looking to Medellin for its next big moves in the music industry. Emilia Morales, the company's director, explains that Rimas is committed to tapping into Medellin's thriving music scene, which has already produced many successful artists. They aim to support local talent through collaborations like sponsoring Medellin Music Week. Unlike record labels, Remus focuses on songwriters, composers, and lyricists, managing their music catalogs and licensing their work for various media, including virtual games and advertising. With a 10-year plan in place, Remus is expanding into diverse genres Genres and aims to empower female composers and producers in Latin America. In Cartagena, the Department of Transportation is now closely monitoring these buses to ensure compliance with Decree 0930 of 2024, which regulates their operation and prohibits alcohol consumption. The decree was issued to prevent underage drinking, drug use, excessive noise, and improper parking. That director, Jose Ricuarto, emphasize the responsibility of Chivas drivers to follow safety guidelines to protect tourists and preserve the city's heritage. Citizens can report irregularities via email. Now, the mayor warns of possible chaos 
The mayor's office of Medellin is preparing to prevent potential chaos on October 31st after influencers West Cole and reggaeton singer Ryan Castro hinted at another road blocking event. The city saw major disruptions on October 9th when Castro's video shoot halted traffic, drawing public criticism and calls for action. This time, authorities are taking steps to avoid a repeat, setting up a unified command post to monitor and control the situation. The mayor's office emphasized that no permit has been issued for for the event and that they were warned of the risk these unsanctioned gatherings pose. Citing previous incidents, including a tragic incident on October 31st, 2022, officials urged influencers to consider the consequences of their actions. The goal is to maintain public safety and to prevent any further disruptions. In traffic technology news, Medellin is upgrading its 40 photo detection cameras with modern technology, including laser sensors to improve traffic enforcement across all lanes. These new cameras will be installed on metal arches that also support LPR security cameras. The upgrades aim to enhance road safety, but there are no plans to add new locations. The focus is on replacing outdated cameras and ensuring better monitoring of infractions like speeding and missing insurance. Medellin's Mobility Secretary, Mateo Gonzalez, emphasized that the goal is to promote responsible driving through a mix of enforcement and educational strategies. Other nearby municipalities like Bejo and Sabaneta are not yet part of this modernization. In sports, Four Colombian athletes have made significant strides in the NFL, a sport not traditionally popular in Colombia. These players have showcased their talent on the world stage, representing their country with pride. Jaro Peñarado was the first Colombian in the NFL, playing for the Los Angeles Rams after excelling at UCLA. He appeared in 20 games and pioneered a path for future Colombian athletes. Fuad Raviz, born in Bogota, became a successful place kicker for the Miami Dolphins and Minnesota Vikings. Known for his accuracy, he earned all pro honors and a Pro Bowl selection in 1994. Fernando Valesco, though born in New York, is of Colombian descent. He's a center. He played for teams like the Pittsburgh Steelers and reached Super Bowl 50 with the Carolina Panthers. Christian Gonzalez, at just age 22, is already a rising star. Drafted by the New England Patriots in 2023, his Colombian heritage comes from his father, a former basketball player. He is seen as one of the NFL's top young talents. Now, lastly, in more sports, Colombia dominated Chile 4-0 in a World Cup qualifier in Barranquilla, solidifying its second place in the group standings with 19 points. Defender Davidson Sanchez opened the scoring with a header from a James Rodriguez corner in the 34th minute. In the second half, Luis Diaz doubled the lead, followed by John Duran's goal in the 82nd minute mark. Luis Senarestra sealed the match with a fourth goal in the final seconds. With this victory, Colombia remains tied with Argentina in points and continues its strong form, losing only twice in its last 33 matches. The team will next face Uruguay and Ecuador in November. So there you go. You're up to date with the latest news out of Medellin, Colombia, and Colombia as a whole. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to travel, but travel safe. Rocky Medellin, feeling me, sipping cafecito. Parquet, you're seeing hottest vibe ain't incognito. Comuna 13, colors bright, mural symphony. Graffiti on city walls, culture rich as history. Watch DC Raw, stay wise, streetwise TV. Keep the tabs on where to roll. News a lot, believe me. Travel, but travel safe. Life don't hit replay. Streets savvy like a king, no risk we convey. Ready, nice, under city lights. Roll with DC Raw, we got the sights. Cultures blend. Party never ends. Stay sharp, stay true. We got no pretend. Hustle like New York Marine. Never get caught slipping. DC born street smart. Worldwide tripping. Land beat. South streets rhythm always bumping. Parquet years hang tight. Massive crowd thumping. Travel like a Marine. Ain't no fear. Mad respect for local vibes we revere. Colors bold, stories told are pure magic. Medellin spirit so infectious, never tragic. Medellin nights on the city.